Hi, everybody. My name is Anna. Thank you so much for being here today. We're excited. I'm excited for our 45 minute burn class, full body workout. We've got cardio in the works as well. Um, you shouldn't be hearing any music right now, just my voice. And we're gonna do the whole class that way. But if you want to use the playlist that I have queued up, I have popped it in the chat window a number of times. I'll do it once more now. And you can queue that up on your side and I'll tell you when to press play on that. Um, I find that the audio works a little bit better if I don't have music blaring in my, my environment. So I've got that in my ear. And when we press play, I'll be hearing it here. You'll be hearing it at home and you should be able to hear my cues better that way. Um, I've, I'm welcome to feedback on that if anyone who comes regularly prefers it the way I've been doing it uh, prior. So let's just make sure we've got all the settings set up correctly. Perfect. I'm going to run through a couple of quick announcements. You probably all know by now there's a Yoga Fit app. I highly, highly recommend downloading that. Um, it's a great complement to the website. You can find, um, of course, the um, schedule in both places. And we've got the virtual classes like this are continuing. Plus, we have for members the YouTube channel. Plus, um, now in, in, in studio as well with all of the appropriate COVID. Um, uh, kind of modification. So feel free to check that out. Today for class, you just need a light set of weights. If you want to have your set of weights for deadlifts and you have them, um, you can grab those too. Um, you're muted automatically. Feel free to use the chat window or always you can come off mute if you need to alert me of something during class. And um, if anyone wants to turn on their video, I think it's super fun to see each other. I'm going to turn myself on gallery view, so I'll um, see you guys if anyone decides to turn their video on. Um, all right, guys, get over to your playlist in Spotify. Make sure you have shuffle turned off there so that we can stay in sync. And I will give you a countdown. I will say three, two, one, and then play, and you'll press play um, when you hear that. Uh, we'll do that in just a moment. All right, so we are starting with freedom and we're going to press play in three two one play good deal all right let's start an extended child's pose today toes together knees wide arms walk out long in front of you rest your forehead down on the mat maybe massage your forehead a little bit side to side. I invite you to take this time to think about an intention for the day. Option here, walk your hands to one side of the mat and then the other, getting a nice deep side stretch. You can take that at your own pace. And maybe come back to center and walk your hands even forward out and even further um, out in front of you as you Sink your hips back and down closer to your heels. As you're working your way through your own stretches here, um, maybe you're thinking about your intention. Maybe you'd like a little bit of guidance on where to direct your thoughts today. With 4th of July just around the corner, we're all probably thinking a little bit about freedom. And that word is kind of charged right now. Um, but let's just keep it light just for this hour. And I'll encourage you to think about something that makes you feel free. Maybe it's riding a bike down a steep hill, having an ice cream cone, going for a swim, whatever it might be, and think about how you can work that into your schedule in these coming days. Take one more deep breath in and out here, sinking into your child's pose, and then inhale, come up to your tabletop pose, all fours. Really push into your mat through your palms and your fingers. Push the mat away from you. Make more space in your body. Push your belly button to your spine. Belly button's coming toward the ceiling as you rotate your hips a little bit under. Now from this strong, stable pose, extend your right arm long out in front of you, your left arm long behind you. Reach a little bit further forward. Reach a little bit further backward. Check your hip points. You want both hip points facing down towards your mat. Your gaze is down, neck is in line with your spine. From here, pulse it up, 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 up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and hold. Hold right there. Right arm comes behind to capture your foot. Quad stretch. Bring your foot in towards your seat. Get a nice stretch there. One more inhale. Exhale, extend out long. Return to your tabletop position, other side. Left arm straight in front, right arm straight behind. Reach a little bit further in each direction like your body is a rope and people are playing tug of war. Check your hip alignment. Gaze down. Tighten your core. Bring your belly button away from your mat. Pulse it up. Up, up, up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Hold right there. Return to your tabletop pose. Push back to downward facing dog. Pedal it out here. Walk your dog. Wake up your body. On your next inhale, right leg comes high. Option to bend at your knee. Maybe take some circles. Circle out your ankle. Draw some circles with your knee and stretch out that hip. On your next inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. And come up all the way to your crescent pose. Check your alignment in your crescent pose. You want your hips square to the front. When I say square, I mean I can draw a square between your shoulders and your hips. Your right knee is tracking over your right ankle. Your arms are reaching up, but your shoulders are down. Shoulders away from your ears. From here, rotate into your goddess pose. Hands at heart center. Heels and toes out. Again, knees over your ankles. Sink a little bit lower. Goddess squats. Down and up. Down and up. Arms come with you. Down and up. We have four more. Three more. Last two. One more. Sink it low and hold. Hands to your thighs, shoulder dips. So you're getting a little bit of a shoulder stretch here, but a lot of a stretch through your inner thighs. Dip your other shoulder towards your center line. Let that feel good. Then come all the way down into a forward fold. Head hangs heavy. Relax your arms down into the floor. Walk your arms over to your left foot. And then slowly walk your hands over to your right foot. From here, we're pivoting into our low lunge, right foot forward, left foot back. Maybe take a few shifts of your body weight forward and back. Easy twist, right arm comes high. Back knee is off the mat. Circle your arm forward. Circle it back. Return to your low lunge, step back to high plank pose. Downward facing dog. Pedal it out once more. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, other side. Come all the way up to crescent. Check your strong alignment. Once again, square your hips. Tuck your pelvis a little bit, belly button to spine. Proud chest, arms reach high, but relax your shoulders. From there, sweep your arm low, open up to your goddess. Goddess squats a little faster this time. We go down and up, down and up. Just six more. Five, four, three, last two, and one. Sink it low. Walk into your yogi squat. So your feet come a little closer together. Sink your butt as low as you can, closer to the mat. Hands can come to heart center. I like to press my knees into my legs, creating some resistance here, creating a deeper step, stretch. Inhale and exhale. On your exhale, get deeper into this stretch. Relax your seat closer towards the mat. One more inhale. Exhale, low lunge, left foot forward, right foot back. Shift your weight forward and back. Easy twist, left arm high, circle your arm forward, circle your arm back, back to your low lunge, step into your high plank pose, downward facing dog, 
Mm. Come forward to your high plank. Back to your down dog. Forward to your high plank. Back to your down dog. One more time. Back to your down dog. And down to your knees. Shake it out. We're moving into a set of push-ups. This is a time to grab your weights, if you have them, your lighter set of weights. Chaturanga push-ups. You can do this from your knees or from your toes. Chaturanga push-ups, yogi push-ups, your knees, or excuse me, your elbows graze your sides. So your arms are tightened towards your body the entire time. As always in a plank, we're trying to keep one long straight line from your knees or your toes all the way to the crown of your head. Core is tight, belly button spine. Gaze towards your mat. Two more. Last one. Hold tight. I'm going to demonstrate we're doing a combo sequence. It's push up, push up, hold high, row on the right, row on the left. Do it with me. Down and up, down and up, row and row. Six more. Down, up, down, up, row. Row. Do it again. Down. Up. Down. Up. Row right. Row left. Just four more. Push up. Push up. Row. Row. Push up. Push up. Row. Woo! Row. Two more. Push up. Push up. Row. A row, last time. Push up, push up, a row. Last row, come to tabletop. Keep your weights where they are. Rows from tabletop, starting on the right side. It's up and down. When you bring your weight down, just hover it up off your mat. Four, three, hold it high, in two. Last one, hold it high, extend your Hand out long behind you. Arm is straight and strong. Pulse it up. Four, eight, seven, six, five. Pulsing it in. In two and one. In towards your spine. In, in, in. Next move is going to be a combo. We're doing up and in. Move in two and one. Up, in. Up, in. Up, in. Just for four, three, last two, and one. Other side, right arm comes down, left arm rows. Up and down, up and down, up, down, up, down. Just for four, three, last two, one, hold high. Extend your arm long behind you, pulse it up. Tricep work, pulse and pulse, pulse at four, three, two, move it in to center line towards your spine, pulse it in just for eight, seven, six, five, combo it out in three, last two, and one, up and in, up, in, up and in, for four, three, Last two, and one, back to tabletop, alternating rows, right and left, right and left. One more, right and left. Drop it down. Take a couple circles with the arms, maybe across the body. Whatever feels good in your arms, maybe overhead for those triceps. All right. We're moving into a plank series. You can move your weights out of the way here. Meet me in forearm plank. Have the screen on your right side here. In your forearm plank, your hands can be clasped together or your palms can be straight out front and facing the mat. Tuck your seat a little bit here. Really strong alignment all the way through your body. Make it active through your heels. So push your heels closer toward the wall behind you. 
Now from there, we're gonna rock forward and back on our toes. So we go forward and back. The movement is only forward and back, it's not up and down. Keep everything in one straight line. Just pivot forward and back, forward and back. You have four more. Three more hip dips are next. In two. Last one, hip dips. Dip it right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left. Four more, each side. Three more. Last two. And one, come up to your high plank. High plank pose. Open up to side plank on the right. Right arm comes high. Option to stack or stagger your feet, or you can always come down to your bottom knee. Choose what's right for you. From here, pulse it up. Pulse your hips up. Bring your fingertips a little towards, closer towards the ceiling with, with each pulse. Next movement is knee to elbow. We're moving there in four, three, two, and one. Knee to elbow. And your arm reaches long overhead. Watch out for any desks that might be in your way like mine. Just four. Last three. Hold high. In two. And one. Arm comes straight up above again. Now reach that right hand down underneath your left armpit and back up to your starting position. This really challenges your balance along with your oblique strength. Take it at your own pace. Up to speed is down and up. Down and up. Or you can take it a little slower. You do you. For four. Last three. Pulse it up in two. And one. Pulse it high. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. High plank in two. And one. High plank pose. Moving to side plank on the other side. If you want to face me, switch directions. High plank with left arm high. Stack or stagger your feet. Come down to your knee if you choose. From there, pulse it up. Pulse up. Up. Four. Three. Knee to elbow in two. And one. Side crunch. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Kind of a little froggy movement. Four more. Three more. Last two. Hold high in one. Left arm comes high. Now take your left hand underneath your right armpit and bring it back up high. Maybe this is a point where if your feet are stacked, you stagger them to help with the stability. And maybe if you do that, then you're more comfortable taking it up to tempo. Just for three. Last two. One more, pulse it up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, and one. High plank pose. Push back to child's pose. Extend your child's pose. Take a breather here. When you're ready, come up, grab a sip of water. We're moving into a parallel squat series. Option two, grab your light weights at front center if you choose. I'm going to skip that today. So start with the basic squat. Feet are hip width distance apart. Butt is coming back and down. All the way down, all the way up. I like to think about moving my butt back more than thinking about moving it down. Of course, it's moving in both directions. But if I think about pushing it back, it helps me to make sure that my knees stay behind my toes which protects my joints. That's good, healthy alignment. Keeping your knees behind your toes the entire time. Now, this sequence is, I call it a tower sequence or a reverse pyramid sequence. What we're gonna do is keep adding movements on top of each other. The first movement, it's sort of like you're rollerblading. You squat and you bring your leg behind you at a diagonal, and then you, do the other legs. So we're gonna take it slow. Squat, lift, squat, and lift, squat, and lift. 
So let's perfect this movement. Just sort of hang out here for a minute. When you're doing that lift, I want you to really think about firing on that glute to raise your leg as high as you can at a diagonal, not directly behind you, but at a diagonal, and get some air time there. This is deliberately slow to focus on holding that leg up high and firing on our glutes. Now the next movement we're adding is a forward kick. So your, for your leg just comes out straight up in front of your body. We'll do that after this one, right? Lift left, lift forward, right, forward left, back to rollerblade, rollerblade right, rollerblade left, lift it straight out right, lift it straight out left. Great work, repeat that. So a lot of repetition in this series, a good opportunity to let your mind water, wander a little bit, maybe come back to that intention, maybe you want to think about Something that make you feel, it makes you feel free. Maybe this makes you feel free. Two more. Kick forward. Kick forward. Roller blade. Next movement is knee to elbow. We're adding it now. So we're taking the squat out. You just stand up, knee to elbow, and then you're back to your squats with your roller blade. Kick forward. Kick forward, knee to elbow. On the right and the left. Squat roller blade. Roller blade. Forward kick. Forward kick. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. One more. Roller blade. Next thing we're adding is a rainbow leg lift. Watch me. Knee to elbow. You can just stay with knee to elbow while you watch. Rainbow. Rainbow. Let's stay there for a minute. See what this feels like in our body. So your knee comes. Up and around, drawing a rainbow with your knee, working out all the kinks in your hip. One more right, one more left, back to roller blade. Squat, lift, squat, lift, kick it forward. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow, rainbow. Woo! All right, guys, grab some water. Clear your space off. We've got cardio. Starting low, high plank pose, mountain climbers. Drive your knees in towards your chest. You can take this fast. You can take it slow. You can take the cardio out of it and make it more of a strength exercise. You're Spider-Man or you're Spider-Woman. Knee to elbow. You choose. We're here for 45 seconds. You're halfway through. You got this team. Great work, you guys. You are showing up today. You got it, Catherine. Way to go, Janie. 10 seconds left here. You got it. Our next move, we're getting up on our feet. We've got high knee, high knee, butt kick, butt kick. Come on up to your feet now. This is what it looks like. High knee, high knee, butt kick, butt kick. If this is too complicated, stay with high knees or stay with butt kicks. Choose your preference. Otherwise, it's high knee, high knee, butt kick, butt kick. 30 seconds left here. You keep with this. I'm going to demo our next move. Our next move is a split lunge switch jump. So you start with right foot forward, left foot back. You switch, left foot forward, right foot back. You don't like that? Then you're doing a marching lunge, alternating in your split lunges. You're starting this, guys, in 10 seconds. Another option here, pulse low for two, then switch jump. Okay, move with me in two and one. Get into that split lunge jump. You got it. Woo! 45 seconds here. You're already 15 seconds in. Maybe you want to alternate between all of those different options that I showed you. After this, we have a little bit of a lower impact one. Shuffle jab is coming next. You've got 15 more seconds here. You've got this. You can do anything for 15 seconds. Keep those split lunge jumps going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shuffle jab. So you're working your way across your mat, side to side, with the jab. Try to make that jab bigger. 
If you have more space than I do, maybe you're turning your shuffle into more of a sachet. Whatever you're doing, keep your body moving. Woo! All right, we've got two more movements. The next one is a rotating jump squat with a floor tap, plyometrics move. So keep with your uh, shovel dabs, watch me. Looks like this, jump, turn to the side, jump, turn to the side and touch the floor. Join me in, four, three, two, and one. Jump and touch the floor. Jump, turn to the other side, touch the floor. So you're just touching the floor, facing one side of the room and then the other. You've got a little hop in the middle, facing center. Woo! You got this, guys. <clears throat> Woo! I hope you've got music blaring somewhere, guys. You got this, Jennifer. Way to go, Kathy. Ten more seconds with these jumps. You can do it. Last thing is butt kickers. You're just gonna run it out to the end of the song. Moving in, four, three, two, and one. Kick your butt, run it out. Just to the end of the song. You got it, woo! Yeah. Four, three, two, and one. Grab some water, shake it out. All right, we're moving into some calves. Active recovery. Option, grab your weights or skip that. Start with your feet parallel to one another, hip width distance apart, all the way up, all the way down. Bicep curls, arms come all the way up, all the way down, all the way up high on your heels, and then heels kiss the mat or you can have them hover off the mat on your way down. In this movement, you wanna make sure your arms are stopping at your side when they come down, as opposed to swinging behind your body. We don't want to use momentum. Eight, seven, six more, five, hold high in four, three, pulse it high in two, hold high and pulse, 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 pulse. Pause it here, just for four, three, two, hold on one, hold high. Bring your knees, bring your heels down, move into first position, heels together, toes out. Rotate your arms in line with your feet. So we're doing wide arm bicep curls up and down. First position calf raisers, wide arm bicep curls. We have eight, seven, Woo, let that heart rate come down. Five more. Four. Three. Hold it high and pulse in two. Last one. Hold it high. Pulse it up. 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 Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Heels come down in two. Last one. Feet are down. Invert your toes, toes together, heels apart, arms out long at candlestick. Lift and lower. Options with your arms. Pulse high in your candlestick. Candlestick raises. Arms come down to your thighs and back up. Out straight from your shoulders in candlestick position. Or last option, you hold in your candlestick. Bend at 90 degrees in your elbow. Bring it back to candlestick. Choose your option. What are you feeling today? Four more. Three more. Last two. Full tie on one. Pulse it high. Pulse. Pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Hold high in two. And one. Hold high. Hold right there. Just for four. Three. Two. And one. Come on now. Split lunge series. So face 
so that your screen is on um, your left side. And start with marching lunges. So step back in your split lunge, left leg back, right leg forward. Come up to stand, other side, left foot forward, right foot back. We'll sync up in a moment. So we're going right back, left back, right back, left back. Four more each side. Three more each side. Last two. <clears throat> One more. Hold your left foot back. Hold it low. Check your alignment. Square your hips. Tuck your pelvis under. Belly is tight. From there, down and up. Full range. Split lunges. Right foot forward, left foot back. For four. Last three. Hold low in two. And one. Hold it low. Little pulses. Check your alignment. Right knee should be over. Right ankle. Squeeze your left glute. Pulse here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold in two. And one. Hold low. Pivot into your goddess pose from goddess. So heels are in, toes are out. Knees, again, are over your ankles. Sink your butt a little lower. Get low. Full range. Squat. Down and up. Down and up. Just like you did in our warm up. Four more. Three more. Last two. One more. Hold low and pulse. Hold low. Little pulses. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Hold in four. Three. Hold low in two. And one. Hold low. Pivot to your split lunge, other direction. Left foot forward, right foot back. 90 degrees in both knees. That's what we're working towards. Left knee over left ankle. Get ready to move. Split lunge, start down. Here we go. It's down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Four more, three more, last two. One more, hold low, pulse it there, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold in two, and one, hold right there. Steadily pivot back to your goddess. This time, hold low on your goddess, reach side to side across your body like this. Reach right, left, right, left. A tiny pulse in your legs, using your obliques, your gaze and your arms go side to side, diagonally in front of your body. Side, 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 side. Four more, three more. Last two and one. Pivot back to your split lunge, right leg forward, left leg back. Full range down, up, down, up. Eight, seven, six, Five, feet change. Four, last three. We have two and one. Pivot 180 degrees. Left foot forward, right foot back. Down and up. Down and up. Just six more. Five, four, last three. Two and one. We've got deadlifts. Grab your heavy weight. Four counts up, four counts down. Feet are parallel, hip width distance apart. Weights are right out front of your thighs. Keep your back flat as you shift forward at the hips. Down, two, three, four, up. Two, three, four. We're starting super slow. So you're feeling this movement in your body, getting used to that stretch through the back of your legs. Keeping your back flat. Up, two, three, four. One more slow down. Two, three, four, up. We're moving to two counts up, two counts down. Down for two, up for two, down for two, up for two, down, down, up. Up one more. 
We've got singles coming next. Here we go. It's down and up, down and up, down and up, just for eight, seven, six, five. Hold it low in four, three. Last two, hold it low in one. Turn your weights up onto their ends. Shift your body weight forward. Sink down low, bend your knees. Now lift up your left foot. Swing it behind your right, hover it. Curtsy lunge from here. Pulse it low, explode high. So your left leg is coming at a diagonal behind your body. It's lunge and lift, lunge and lift. Lunge and lift, lunge and lift. Four more, three more. Hold it low in two and one. Hold it low, pulse it there. Little pulses, you got this. I know it burns just for eight, seven. Hold it six, five, four, three, two. Both feet on the ground, switch to the other side. Right foot comes hovering behind, left calf. Extend all the way up to that diagonal behind you. It's pulse and lift, pulse and lift, pulse and lift, pulse and lift, pulse and lift. Just for four, three, last two. Hold it low in one, hold it low and pulse, pulse it there. Just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down to tabletop. Keep your weights, put them behind your knees. Woo! I'm gonna flip to the other side. I've got the screen on my right side. I'm gonna start with right fire hydrants, lift and lower. So you're really squeezing that weight behind your knee, lift, and lower like you're peeing on a fire hydrant. Lift and lower. I find that this movement is really intensified if I work on putting equal weight in both of my hands and avoid dump dumping into my stable side, my left side in this case. It really works the obliques more if you're pressing firmly into both sides. Let's move for two more. Pull one more, now hold it high and pulse. Pulse, pulse, and pulse. Just for eight, seven, six, five, release in four, three, two, hover your knee off the mat, lift straight behind you, and down. Flex your foot, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower for four, three, hold high and pulse in two, Last one, hold it there. Pulse, 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 just for four. Last three, hold it high, in two, and one. Grab the weight, take it out, set it off to the side, go back up to that position. Now straighten and bend. Hamstring curls, straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Extend and bend, just for four. Three, last two, and one. Release your right knee down to the mat. Other side, fire hydrants, left knee. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Woo! You've got four, three, two more. Last one, lift it back up high and pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, woo, four, three, two. Hover your knee off the mat. Lift and lower to the back. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Flex your foot. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Just for four, three, hold it high in two. Last one, pulse at eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weight, set it off to the side. Bring your knee back up high. Hamstring curls. 
straighten and bend, straighten and bend, straighten and bend for eight, seven, last six, five, four, three, last two, and one. Drop it down. Move your weights out of the way. We don't need those anymore. We've got a set of abs on our seat. All right, so watch my position. Feet out in front, planted on the ground, hands behind you, fingertips pointed towards your butt. Now, lift into boat pose, knees are bent, roll onto your right butt cheek, extend your legs long as you let your torso get, come a bit closer to the mat. You're supported with your arms. Now tuck it in, knees to your chest, extend it long. Tuck, extend, crunch, extend, crunch, extend. We have eight, seven, other side in six, five, rolling onto our butt, other butt cheek, our left butt cheek, in two more, last one, other side. Crunch, extend. Crunch, extend, crunch, extend, just for eight, seven, six, five, hold long in four, three, hold your legs out long in two, last one, hold it there, rainbow with your feet, so you're coming over from one butt cheek to the other butt cheek, drawing a rainbow with your feet, try to make that rainbow precise. Really use your abs to stabilize. Draw that beautiful golden arch. You can keep it slower, you can go fast. One more each direction. One more time. Come on down to your back, legs up the wall. Bring your arms out long overhead. Then bring your hands up to reach for your toes. On your way back down, draw your feet towards your butt. Bend at your knees, back up to touch your toes, bend your knees, so reach up high, and then let everything come down. Reach, come down, reach, come down. For four, three, last two, hold high on pulse, in one, pulse at eight, seven, six, five, standard crunches, in two, and one. Feet come down to the mat, hands behind your head, lift and lower. Lift and lower, gazes toward the ceiling. Elbows are wide, head is heavy in your hands. Let there be space between your chin and your chest for four, last three, and two, one. Hold it high, pulse it up, 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 for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold high and two. And one, hold high, extend your arms, reach towards your heels, heel taps, right, left, right, left. You're keeping your shoulders lifted. You're reaching for alternating heels. Go right, left, right, left, pulse right, 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 for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, pulse left in two, and one, pulse left for right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Woo! You did it. That was abs. Roll it out. Roll all the way up to your hands and your feet and step back into your down dog. Pedal it out. Be proud of yourself for being here today. We're on to our cool down. Please stay with me if you can. I will tell you when it is 12.45. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Woo, exhale, low lunge. Settle into your low lunge here. Maybe shift your weight a little forward and back. <clears throat> Drop onto your back knee. Right arm comes behind you, grab your quad stretch. Hold on to your left foot. Carry your left foot in closer towards your butt. Deep breath in, deep breath out. <sighs> Inhale, both hands come down to the mat. Exhale, half splits. Bring your seat closer to 
towards your left heel, drop your chest closer towards your right leg, let your head hang heavy. Enjoy this stretch. Deep breath in. Hold it out. Walk forward to your hands. Step back to a three-legged down dog and release your right foot down to the mat. Other side, left leg high. Reach it even higher. Carry it through for your low lunge. Shift your weight forward and back. Settle in, sink deeper. Drop onto your right knee. Left arm comes behind you, quad stretch. Grab your right foot, put in towards your butt. Maybe you left, let your left knee come out a bit more to the side here. Inhale, return both hands to the mat. Exhale, half splits. Sink your butt towards your right heel. Let your torso be heavy. Let your head be heavy. Inhale, back to your hands. Exhale, three-legged dog. Downward facing dog. Come down to your seat. Seated spinal twist starting with your right leg over your left leg. So your right foot is planted next to your left quad. Right arm comes behind you. Left arm comes up high. Then twist your upper body towards your right side. Bring your left elbow down to your right thigh. Twist a little further, gaze behind you. Rinse out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more breath. Inhale, come back to center. Figure four or shoelace pose. For shoelace pose, your knees are stacked vertically one on top of the other. Knife edges of your feet are down, relaxing on your mat. Chest comes forward, closer towards your knees to intensify the stretch. If you're choosing figure four today, you have your right ankle over your left quad. You're bringing your seat in towards your grounded heel for a deeper stretch. Okay, guys. I really want you to stay and stretch if you can. I'm sorry, I'm two minutes over. It's 1247. If you can stay with me, please do. If you've got to go, any feedback is welcome in the chat window. Thank you so much for being here and for making this time for yourself. Seated spinal twist, other side, left foot is over the top, left foot is grounded. Reach your right arm high, left arm behind you, supporting you. Twist, gaze behind you. Right elbow comes over your left thigh, giving you leverage to twist a little further. Twist a little further on your exhale. Breathe in. Oh, breathe out. Shoelace pose or figure four. Do whatever you did on the other side. Settle in here. I love this pose, it feels so nice. This is our last pose. From here on your next inhale, come up to a seat. Bring legs out long in front of you, arms out long in front of you. Roll all the way down to a sweet Shavasana. Relax your feet out to the sides. Relax every muscle in your body. Take an inventory from toes to the crown of your head. Relax your face, relax your tongue. Let your breath be easy. One more deep breath here. And if you're ready to move on, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And shake your head a little bit side to side. Roll over onto one side of your body. Push yourself up to a comfortable seat. Sit cross-legged on the floor, hands at heart center. Rest your eyes. Thank yourself. Pat yourself on the back for being here today. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your time and your energy with me, allowing me to guide you through this practice. I wish you peace and happiness. 
and a wonderful afternoon. Namaste.